Hey guys, Dark Prometheus here, and this is another episode of our Chicago Cubs franchise and MLB The Show. We are simming some games here since our game at, uh, and I believe it was New York, and we're going against the Cincinnati Reds after taking a couple games, and we're going to take a look at Mike Montgomery. No starts, we've seen a little bit of Brett Anderson, we want to see what Monty can do in a setting where he's starting. We got this question mark at the fifth pitcher. And we'll see how he does. First batter, three and two count. And he will be outside with that cutter. It will be ball four. And there's a man on first. Another good way to start the first inning as this one is popped over into shallow right. It is tracked down and caught by Zobrist. So here's a starting lineup for the Reds. We're going against Amir Garrett. So here's a three and no count. This is going to be hit high fastball. It's going to be in left field, easily caught and thrown in, but it will have a man scoring. He did steal uh, two bases there. I think that's uh, Herrera as Duvall gets the sack fly. 3-0 count again with two outs going over, and that one's outside with that four seam, and it was at least close that time. All one count here. It's going to be a short liner over to Brian at third, easy over to second as we look at Amir Garrett. It's a 1 in 6, got a 3.66 ERA, and a whip of 1.14. So John Jay is going to be out here first. In the first pitch, it's going to be hit hard in the left field, but it will stop in front of the left fielder, and it'll be a leadoff single for the day. Baez coming out 3 1 count, it's going to be a hopper over to shortstop. Easy double play there. And we'll look at the lineup here. Zobris is in the left. In right is going to be Amora. And in the middle uh, will be John Jay. But this one is rifled and it'll hit down in front of John Jay as it's another hit there. Another guy with some speed to steal. So going out, it's going to be in the left or right center. Is this going to hit down? It's going to get by John Jay. Can't make a play. Zobris coming in. Another one will score. And it'll be a triple here as we are not having a good time at home against the Reds. 2-0. to zero. And here is a easy, easy ground ball over to Russell. Getting it over to Rizzo. 0-1 count, and with two outs, going to be another ground ball to Russell. Russell, quick throw over to first. Easy play there, and the inning will be over. So again, the Reds add two to their lead off two hits. The Cubs here trying to get something. Baez, 1-0 count, and that is launch in the left field. No doubt about that. A solo shot for Baez. Looks like that even went outside the stadium over on uh, I believe that's Sheffield Avenue over there and Baez just putting the Cubs on the board finally it's a 447 foot home run his fifth of the season so going later in the fifth inning full count so three to one it's going to be a short actually a slow ground ball and he's going to be safe he beats out Montgomery covering that bad that's Winker and there's a man on first three one count showing bunt and Montgomery cannot get the ball over the plate. 0-2 count, though. Gets the change up here against Hamilton. And man on first and second. One out. Next batter here is going to put it into right field. It'll be caught by Zobers and thrown in over to second. Runners will not advance. 1-1 one, one count with two outs. will be over to Rizzo. Rizzo is going to step on first, and that will end the inning. Going into the bottom of the fifth. So up at bat. He's going to hit one up the middle in a right center. The center fielder will get it. Throw it in and it will be a leadoff single for Zobrist. So going out here, Contreras, though, back into another double play. Our second double play of the day. And that will end the, the inning there after another fly ball. We're going to have Pedro Strupp come in. Try to keep this a close game as he's working in the sixth inning with an 0-2 oh count. And this is hit deep, and that's no chance. That's out of here at least 
four or five rows back into the outfield. And it's a four to one game. But later here, Strope settling in, getting the look like that was a splitter down. And here's a slider up inside the zone. And Suarez goes down there. Going into the sixth. It's going to be hit by Amora. Amora is going to put it down. And it will fall in front of the right fielder. And that will be a single. Let's see if the Cubs can get something going here. One out still. Baez, though, back over to in the double play. And that's the second one he's grounded into. And that will end the inning. We're going to go into the seventh. So going to the seventh here. Cubs up the bat and Bryant. That is definitely out of here. That's a long hit ball up in the middle of the stands. And Bryant finally gets the Cubs back on the board since that homer by Baez in the first inning. But here we go. Here that's his ninth of the season. Trouble 412 feet over in right. The Cubs still still trying to go on with two out. Zobrist. A very weak hit ball on the left side and he's going to get in there Zobris the pitcher cannot field it cleanly Contreras here putting it into right field it's going to fall in front of the right fielder there's two on with two out so here we go we'll have Fernando Rodriguez come out for the Reds he's only come out for three games pitched one and one third so we'll see what he can do with Hayward on the mound Hayward that's going to be long but it's going to be Foul. It would have been a homer to tie the ball game. Actually, it would have taken the lead with two on. And here, Hayward will actually put this skied up and cut by the third baseman for the final out. We're going to have Hector Rondon come out here and get some work today, see if we can keep this close and if we can get back in this ball game. Eighth, full count with one out. And Strope will get one hit in between third and short. It will be a single with one out. So here we go here. The Cubs trying to keep this in the lead. 0-2 count. It's going to be a short hopper over to third. Rendon's going to field it and over to first, and he gets him. So with two outs, 0-2 count. And there it is, the slider down. And that will be the third out there as the Cubs trying to get back in this ball game. Bottom of the eighth. Jay's up, and that will be a single over there. Uh, the short just cannot get in the hole fast enough. And we'll see what he can do here. And here's Baez again. Baez, long shot, but it will die in the middle of right field there, possibly because of the wind, and that will be the first out. They're going to bring in Drew Storen to come in here, who's pitched uh, a decent amount here with a pretty good ERA. And he'll come in to face Bryant, and Bryant there will only advance the runner and... Well, actually, that will be the end of the inning there. So, Rizal Iglesias is going to come out. He's had seven saves on the season, and we are threatening here. Contreras putting it on in left field. You already had a single by Zobras right before him. It's a two-out rally. Can we get it? Rostella coming in to pitch hit. That'll fall in front of the left fielder. We will hold the runner at third, and it's bases loaded. Let's see if we can get something in. A single will score two. Amora puts it up, and it will be foul, but it will be able to be caught by the first baseman. And the Reds escape the bottom of the ninth to get the win here. Four to two against the Cubs. Uh, our biggest faults right now is that fifth starting rotation. I really don't want to go to a four-man rotation. We might make a trade as the season goes on. Kind of debating it more towards the all-star break to see how we look. But as of right now, we don't have anyone in sight. So we're going to go to some simming here. And we lose four straight before we take one from Milwaukee. In the first game against San Francisco, it's going to be John Lackey on the mound. One of our best pitchers right now with a 1.83 ERA. And uh, a whip under one against Madison Bumgarner. So in the first inning, here we go as Lackey gets a pop out right behind the mound it'll be caught by Chris Bryant so the look uh, of the lineup for San Francisco there remember Bumgarner will be the opposing pitcher it should be a good one here as Lackey gets a ground out right to him he fields it throws over to first and that 
will record the second out. Right now, Lackey is seemingly in control. One two count with two outs going to be hit high, but playable in center field. And Schwarber is going to get that one away from, I believe that's Zobrist out in center. So here comes Madison Bumgarner. Under a 1 ERA, 0.86 whip. Just a very good pitcher. An 8 0 record, 9 starts. So here's the lineup right now. John Jay is in center field with that, but pretty much the same lineup we always go with as this is Bryant getting the single just over the glove of the third baseman. We have a man on second and first, but here is Rizzo striking out there just away with that slider, but here's Schwarber, and Schwarber hits this one deep. That is no doubt out of here and gone. That, the instant it cracked off the bat, it was a long shot. So Baumgartner here gives up a three-run homer in the first inning, and the Cubs are rolling this time. That's his 14th of the season. I believe he leads our team in home runs. You get that one 462. But here is Zobrist. We put it up the middle. Easy play there by the shortstop and gets the out. And that will be the inning. So starting off this game strong, Schwarber, long shot, puts the Cubs up 3 to nothing, And we'll see if Lackey can hold on this game at home. So Lackey going the second, a 1-1 count. Puts it inside to be hit and past the diving second baseman. That will be uh, Baez over there playing second. And we'll see with a man on first, another 1-1 count. It'll be over to Baez. Baez over to Russell, but Russell will not be able to relay that over to Rizzo. So an 0-2 count is going to be over to Bryant. And this time, it's over to second to first, a double play to end the inning. So Lackey getting some contact against these batters, but nothing strong as this one is a short hit. Lackey fields it, throws over the first, but it will not be in time, and that will be a leadoff single. Later on in the inning, 0-1 count with one out over a diving Chris Bryant. It's going to take a cub hop there to Schwarber. He throws it in to third, and that's a no doubt just no doubt. I don't know why the runner went there. That'll be a second out. It's going to be Baez coming over here. Throw it over to first, and that will end the inning. So actually, that's Zobrist over on second. Uh, Baez has the day off today with John Jay playing, and John Jay is going to come out with a good hit there, and it hits in front of the center fielder. He lost it, and it looks like John Jay has the speed to go into second with a stand up double. So 0 2 count. This is Baez. Actually, Baez is going to be playing over in shortstop as this was a long hit ball towards the track. It looks like it hits off the top of the wall. The runners will advance one more. It'll be a double for Baez as he slides into second. And I thought that one might have been gone or playable. So with no outs, Bryant over too short. He'll get. D out there, but not before Zobra scores. So with Rizzo out here, Rizzo is going to put this over and just not hit well enough. Playable by the third baseman. Schwarber, who had that deep ball. This will be a pass ball, though, and it's over to first, and he's out by a step. So Bumgarner just not having a good time out here. It's 4-0 to zero as Lackey is locking it down here. We have a bunt. It's the first bunt for a hit we've seen. And just no play there over at first. So 0-2 count with a fastball up and away. Strike three called. It's a first out of the fourth. Going to an 0-1 count. And again, Bryant to Zobrist to Rizzo. Double play in the inning. Going later in the game in the sixth with 0-1 count. This is hit deep. It will be over the head of Schwarber. It's going to bounce against the wall. He's going to field it in. Going to Cub bounce, but it will only be a double uh, there, and that will be a lead off double. We'll have Connor Gillespie come in to pinch hit. It's going to be in there to Rizzo. Rizzo easily plays the ball, tag the base. Runner does advance over on third. So trying to get this out of the shutout realm. 
is San Francisco. It's going to be a short ball here. It's going to be fielded. Amor is going to throw it in to his uh, into home. Looked like he missed a relay, but the runner will not advance. And here is a two out first pitch. It's sky high, playable by Zobrist, and that will end the inning. So Lackey keeps the shutout going in the sixth, going to the seventh. Over, and that one is hit hard towards Amora. Easily playable. It's going to be a leadoff single again for the San Francisco team. The 2 2 count, putting it over, and that's in the middle of the plate. Looks like it's going to go foul. Amora's got the speed to get there. He's going to haul it in. And that will be your first out of the inning. Lackey having a shutout game going right now. And this defense is certainly helping him. 0-2 count slider away. Strike three. And he's gone. So Lackey getting the second out here in this inning. 1-2 uh, count here. And another strikeout looking as Crawford. As that the second strikeout of the inning. And Lackey going into the eighth now. It's going to put it up in the zone. It's going to be hit high, and Schwarber loses it in the lights. It goes past him. The runner will advance to second and will not attempt to go into third as it's relayed in to Baez, who's playing over at short. So a 3-0 count. That's away, and he did not call that. That was close. You have a runner on a first and second. Tomlinson comes in on the game. No outs. 0-1 count. It's going to be skied towards Schwarber. Schwarber has time. He's going to position himself for a relay in. He's going to catch it and throw it in to third. It's going to be off the mark, but the runner doesn't try to advance. So with one out, Lackey putting it down. It's playable over to second. He gets the run. Actually, he doesn't. It's going to be a uh, just not a good decision there, but that'll be it. And Hector Rundown will come in with one out. And that will be a single over to Amora. He's going to rifle it in, and the runner will not attempt to get home. It'll be one run for San Fran. 2-2 two -two count. Rendon is going to be sky high to over into center field. It's going to be playable by John Jay. He might have a relay here as he's going to catch it and throw it in, but it will not be close to coming in as it's stopped by, uh, looks like, uh, Zobrist. So 0-2 oh count. And there is a Rundown getting the third out of the inning to minimize the damage. Still a 4-2 game in favor of Chicago. Derek Law is going to come in to try to keep this a close game as we go into the eighth inning. John Jay going to come in, and that was hung. Just not a good contact by John Jay, and he will be out. Win later is Baez, and Baez rifles it in the middle into center field. Just easy catch for the center fielder and we're going to come in with Bryant and Bryant another well hit ball just dies in right center and we're going to have a Wade Davis come in to record the save in the ninth inning Wade Davis struggling a little bit in the ERA wise but has 12 saves off 17 appearances uh, I think he's only blown one or two saves so far so he's doing a good job as Davis gets a high fly ball in the center field easily played by John Jay. So there's the first one of San Fran. As we look at the league leaders, Davis uh, just four behind Jensen as he puts a four-seam fastball down and inside in the zone for strike three. And one and two count, and that's up, and that will be recorded by Rizzo stepping on first, and that will end the game. So we come ahead in this one uh, really putting it on against the red. But here we go. We end up taking down the Giants, thankfully, with their best pitcher, Bumgardner. So in the next episode, we are actually going to have the first year player draft after we simulate the rest of the month. Uh, the rest of the month, really not too uh, big. But we go with our second game against San Francisco. We lose that next game. Uh, looks like Strope uh, blew that one. Arietta is just blown out by Jeff Smarja, the former Cub. Uh, Lester, the last game, and we lose the series there. Going to the Dodgers. Hendricks takes the first one. Lackey against Kershaw in the next one. And Lackey loses that one. Only a 2-3. to three. 
and we lose the last one against the Dodgers. Mike Montgomery there, just not getting it done. Arietta takes the first one from San Diego. Lester will lose the second one. And the last one, Hendricks, I believe, uh, won that. So uh, the first Thursday uh, of June, actually the draft is going to be then, going before our game on Friday. We're going to look here as after that we will go in and hop in a game against St. Louis to see if my Montgomery is really the choice as a number five pitcher. Later, guys.